This is Breaking News. Good evening and welcome to a special edition of the Nightly News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programs for some breaking news about Centronet. Centronet has hit 3,000 subscribers on YouTube and it appears that he is handling this with style and grace. We go live outside his house now. I'm so excited. This is the best day ever. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do fireworks. This is going to be great. I love fireworks. Everyone loves fireworks. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> that is not style and grace. <clears throat> yes, it appears that we've lost a connection to Centronet, and we will have to come back to that in a bit. In the meantime, let's show you what happened to Centronet on Broke Rock this week. To start, it appears that Centronet dug a hole all the way down to bedrock for reasons that we do not understand. He then followed this up with an epic move to take the conduit and move it lower underneath the ocean monument. Then we can see here that he dug. He dug very fast and a very, very vast amount of blocks have been removed from the undergrounds here under his base. And now we take you to a pre-recorded session with Centronet before all of this madness started where he tells us exactly what he's doing and he gets XP going here on his brand new world. Hello there, boys and girls of the Minecraft universe. Centronet here with episode number five of Broke Rock SMP here on good old Bedrock Edition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I've been very busy between episodes and look, I was able to get myself a shiny new pick that has Unbreaking 3, Mending, and Efficiency 4 on it. Now, the biggest problem I have is even though this pick is pretty good, I have no way to get XP except for mining, and that is taking forever, and I'm worried I'm going to lose this pick. So I'm going to go ahead and create a dirty and easy and really, really simple mob grinder so that I can get XP. And we're going to do it down here with our spider spawner that we found, I think, in episode number two. And we're not doing anything too fancy here. I'm going to use water to push these guys into a trough. Then we're going to drop them down, and I will be able to kill them with the tool of my choice that has mending on it and get the XP to repair that stuff. Or I can use a sword or something like that and just get XP in the event that I just want XP. I'm gonna go ahead and, nope, don't break that one yet. Hang on, I'm gonna get water, put it in my buckets because yeah, I almost made a terrible mistake. Ah, okay, so that's gone. And then let's take this torch down. And now it's gonna get super duper dangerous. Whoa. Hey guys, I was not ready for you guys yet. What are they doing? Why are they coming down so fast? And I thought I saw a spider. Why is there a spider? Oh, you know why? Because that other spawner's on the other side of that wall and it can probably spawn here, can't it? Yep, I was so excited I could probably do two farms at once and it's not gonna give me a choice except to do two farms at once. Okay, get out of here before you die. I'm trying to close off that other block over there. Okay, this is not going very well. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. So if I put cobble here. I think if I come down a block, I should be able to drop those guys right there. There we go. See, that's working. But if spiders are going to be a problem, how am I going to deal with that? I'll probably just make this trough down here too wide. Yep, that's what we'll do. Oh, they're cave spiders. No, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't want to die. One heart. One heart. Okay, so there's... There's a cave spider spawner on the other side of one of these walls. And I was hoping that I could just like limit this to only skeletons. But yeah, that's obviously not going to work. Hi, guys. So can I put a torch there? Does that help my circumstance at all? Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Aren't you glad I did all this on camera? Hi, you're scary. Why are you wearing cool clothes? What? Who hit me? How did I die? I'll be right back. This is not breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Centronet does not know how to play Minecraft very well, but it is fun to watch him dying so much. And we're back again. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hey, you just die, all of you. I just want all of you to die. And I want you all to do it right now. Can you do that for me? I think they're all dead. Go ahead and put some clothes on, grab some torches, throw some torches down, turn this thing off for a little bit. 
compose myself. I didn't realize this was going to take so long. All right, so I'm going to break this. Uh, we are missing a block there. That's why that was doing the goofy things it was doing. Um, does it matter what kind of block? No, we'll do that. And then this here, I do want to be an actual water channel. But one that I control because I do want to push the guys down there with water into a killing chamber that's going to be safe for me. So how far over does this come? I did grab some wood. I made some chests. I'm um, trying to get better at this. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to die so much to start the episode. Now you see my XP problem, right? Now does it all make sense? I think it makes sense to me. Okay, let's do that. Put a torch up here for the measure. Grab the chest. We'll put them over here. All this is temporary. At some point, I do want to come back and make this far more efficient than it is. So I want to be able to get good stuff. Maybe we'll do a trident killer or something like that since there are two different farms there, which I think will be kind of cool. Get garbage out of my pockets. So I have tons of bows, which are good. I am going to use the bows later on in life. And we're going to get string from this too, which is good because I don't have a source of string right now. That'll make me happy. Am I wearing clothes? I'm wearing clothes. Do I have things in my hot bar that can save my life not really but i need to get some blocks torches i already have let's get food down there and then i think we're good run back upstairs so they're gonna come here it's gonna push them off I'm gonna have them land right there on that block i'm just gonna have to deal with the spider thing but i think i have a plan for that now i should be able to take the torches down the i I'm just making the same mistakes over and over again, am I not? I think I am. Do this, and then that. And then we'll place a block here. And then we're not gonna die. Hey, torches off. One. There's two I should have eaten. You're spawning, hi. Welcome to the party. Oh, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I didn't get the water down in there. Just wanted a little XP. That's all I wanted. Okay, throw the water. No, 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 no. You, you die. You die. You die. You die. 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 Okay, you're dead. Water. Water. Break torches. Now everybody's gonna go where they're supposed to go. I'm gonna put that there. Torch up some so it doesn't interfere with the farm. I know, I know, you're not supposed to be down here. Thank you for not hitting me. Not sure why you didn't, but I think if I put that there, then I can just kind of stay here and just crush these guys. I think. I think that's kind of my plan. Hi guys. Hello. Do we have an XP farm? Oh, use the thing I'm supposed to use. I should probably put uh, a piece of wood or something there that I can't plow through. Yeah, we're getting XP. Okay, so I'm going to grind this out. I'm going to get a bunch of XP. We're not going to do a time lapse or anything like that. And then I'll bring you guys back. I'm going to show you what's been going on with the base and what we're going to do today because it's going to be a lot of fun. We have been able to reestablish communication with Centronet. Centronet, are you okay? Huh? Yeah. I just just get everything ready for the party. Are you going to be at the party? What the? My apologies for my behavior in that last section. I apologize for my language and for losing my cool. Everything is just fine. Let's get back over to the Broke Rock server and see what Centronet's plans are for this season. If any of my kids are watching, this is why I want you to eat vegetables. Look how tall and powerful I am. I'm so tall and powerful that my head can go in a block and it doesn't even hurt. So I was able to fix that pick. It is now at full strength. I also grabbed a bunch of bows and stuff down there. We're going to get some combining done, and I can finally get a good bow this season. But as you can see, I'm running through a very, very, very long tunnel here underground. And this is why I need good tools, because, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to give you a little bit more insight as to what we're going to be doing with the base. We are all the way down at level negative 59, which is the top of the bedrock layer. I'm building tunnels down here from the center of the base to match what we have up top all the way out 256 blocks in each direction and we're going to excavate this entire thing. Now, I keep telling you guys not to get too far ahead of me, but get too far ahead of me. 256 blocks from the center all the way out in a big circle like what I have up top 
all the way from bedrock to the sky, empty. Clean slate, except for some things that exist down here that we're gonna keep, but otherwise, we're gonna clear it all out. All the way down to bedrock, the water's gonna be gone, the blocks are all gonna be gone, and we're gonna build something down there and in the middle and up to the sky. It's gonna be great. The plans this year are awesome. I'm probably gonna die of old age doing this. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what to say anymore. There's no way that he's gonna pull all of that off this season, not by himself. I really hope he has help. Hang on, I'm getting some news now. Let's see what it is. And this right here is the center of the base. And we can take this all the way back up to the top. And as you see over there on the side, we've got the effect of the conduit. I moved the conduit down a little bit so that we could ride this stream all the way up and down, not worry about having to die. At some point, we'll get something fancier going, but I figured that was a really good place to start. So the base is gonna be big and I need some help. And before this season started, I talked to a couple of my friends on the Broke Rock server and wanted to see if they wanted a base. And one of them has confirmed it. The other one we're gonna hold on to as a secret, but Callie is coming back. She is going to be streaming. I will have her links down in the description, of course, along with all of the other Broke Rockers, but she's gonna be giving me a hand with the water clearing out, the digging, and also the great building. And I am super duper excited to have her back. Looks like somebody's encroaching on my property. I see a build over there on the mountain. So Callie's coming back. I feel good about announcing that. And I'm very, very, very exciting. Excited. Well, now things are starting to make a little bit of sense. My sources have confirmed that Callie is crazy enough to actually help him pull this off. So that part could actually be pretty exciting. Let's return now to a live feed with Centronet. Centronet, are you all right? Oh, hi. Yep. Everything here is good. I'm not playing with, uh, you know, explosive stuff anymore. Uh, the firework thing really didn't work out. So I'm just kind of focusing right now on getting my hair done. And then I'll be ready to talk for real. The party's almost here. You're doing your hair? Your what? Your hair? You don't have any hair? Are you crazy? What is going on? I knew I should have taken today off. Once again, I must apologize for my behavior and my outburst. I am very sorry. I do not know what got into me. Everything is okay. There is nothing to worry about. Let's get back over to the Broke Rock server. It appears that once again, Centronet has been visited by a friend. Dear Cent, congratulations. We here at Superhero MC HQ are pleased to announce that you have won the award for the best bald Minecraft superhero 2023. Yes, I finally won something this year. Even better news as this is the sixth annual award ceremony. You won't need to travel to us. We are traveling to you for the award ceremony. Nice. At your earliest opportunity, we ask that you visit our special carnival themed stage located at 15, negative 1591. 8275. That's that building over there that I just saw. Thank you for continuing to protect the world of MC from those evil doers. Rules for this event are as follows. Come dressed to impress, no weapons, no tools, armor, etc., are allowed on the premises and must be left in the chest outside. Sleep in a bed outside to prevent mob damage to property. Please record. Okay, so the good news is my camera's on. Nothing on the rest of these pages. Oh, hey, management takes no responsibility for personal injury, fatality, or I think that means loss of items during the event. All damage to company property will result in a five diamond block fine being issued against you. Okay, this, no, this seems like it's a trap and I'm going to die if I agree to do this. How full are my pockets? I'm gonna leave some stuff here just in case. This is ridiculous. I can't get through one episode without being pranked by like everybody. I'm gonna put the book back in the frame um, and then we're gonna have to figure out who did this and how I'm gonna get them back. Take a chest. Let's go over and take a look at that build and see what on earth they did in there. I think I'm gonna die if they're telling me that I've got a set spawn and all that, but yeah, let's run over there real quick and see what on earth is going on. That's actually a really beautiful build. Maybe I should stop being so negative and maybe this isn't going to be something that kills me. I don't know why I always do that. I always think the worst whenever my friends come over and visit me and I'm going to steal all this coal too. 
Um, this is a very nice build. There is a bed as promised. There's a what? Best bald superhero winner Centronet. Okay. So they said to put all my stuff in the chest. I can't wear armor. I can't have weapons, which again is why I think they're going to kill me. But that could just be, you know, me just thinking the worst and I shouldn't do that. Okay. They said to touch the bed. They said to sleep. Wow. Look at that huge circle over there. That looks so cool. And it's being guarded. Uh, okay. Best bald superhero winner Centronet. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. I didn't even get to see what was on the piece of paper. Okay, I'm dead. I want to know who did this. Okay. Here we go. Subscribe to Mr. Moth Gaming. Dude. Dude. Kai, you did this? You killed me. I know that Love Dust and I pranked you and Jax. Last episode or the episode before one of them, but I didn't kill anybody. Nobody died. It was there just to create horror in your brain a little bit, but nobody killed you and you killed me. That's just not nice. Come on, let's go work on a project. You know what? I'm happy he died. I'm actually very happy he died. He deserves to die. I have no idea what's going on around here. What is happening? Centronet, let's go live to you. Are you ready? Yep, I'm here. I'm ready. My hair is all done. The only thing I have to do is I've got to make sure that uh, you can't see it on my green screen. So for that, I just take the sheet, put it over my hair, and then I'll put my headphones on, and then you guys won't be able to see my hair. So it turns out, yep, you guys were right the whole time. I do have hair, and I hide it from you. So it turns out that Mills was right the whole time. He does have hair, and that's how he gets bald for the videos. It's crazy. I don't, I can't even begin to tell you what's going on in my mind or what I'm dressed up as now, but let's go to one final parting message from Centronet. I don't even know what to say. I can't believe that we hit 3K. It's been amazing to watch the channel grow over the years, and I appreciate every last one of you that tunes in and watches my videos and gives me support in every way. I'm not going to name names, but thank you so much to my family. Thank you to the Broke Rockers. Thank you to all the great YouTubers I've been able to make content with over the years. Thank you to all of the fans. I really appreciate it. I thank you all so much. And I'll see you guys at the next milestone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is all the news that we have for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Thank you all so much for all the support. If you guys liked the video, make sure you smash the like button. If you guys loved it, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Centronet, and I'm out.